Welcome to our lesson on solving quadratics using the quadratic formula. So we're going to solve quadratics in a general form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. And we're going to do this using the quadratic formula, where x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And before we begin using this formula, I want to show you how it's derived from the general form by completing the square. We begin by dividing the left and the right hand side of the equation by a, because then the a divided by a will cancel to make 1. So we have x squared plus bx over a plus c over a is equal to 0. And now we can write it and complete it for square form by halving the coefficient of x. So we have x plus b over 2a all squared. And we can complete this square by taking away b over 2a squared added to c over a to make 0. And now I'm going to square this fraction and I'm going to write c over a as an equivalent fraction by multiplying numerator and denominator by 4a. So now we have minus b squared over 4a squared plus 4ac over 4a squared is equal to 0. And now I'm going to move these two fractions to the other side of our equal sign and write them over a single denominator. So this becomes equal to b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. And to carry on making x the subject, I'm going to take the square root of both sides because then the square and the square root will cancel. So now we have x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. And now I can simplify the fraction by taking the square root of a numerator and denominator. So we have plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And now I'll move this fraction to the other side. So we have x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And finally, I can write them as a single fraction where x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is how you derive a quadratic formula by completing the square. And now we're going to use this formula to solve quadratic equations. So to solve the equation a, we need to identify values of a, b and c. And a is the coefficient of a squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is 2. And c is our constant term, which is negative 4. And now we substitute these three values into our formula. And we can simplify this. So x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So x is approximately negative 3.23. And x is approximately 1.24 to three significant figures. Do you want to try and solve questions B, C, D and E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we begin by taking away the 5x and the 19 from both sides of the equation. So these will cancel, as will these. So now we have x squared minus 5x minus 19 is equal to 0. And we can see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to negative 19. And now we can substitute these three values into our formula. So this will simplify. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 101 over 2. So x is approximately negative 2.52. And x is approximately 7.52. And for question C, 
will make the equation equal zero by taking away one from both sides. So we have two x squared minus two x minus one is equal to zero. So a is equal to two, b is negative two, and c is negative one. So x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of three over two, which is approximately negative 0.37 and 1.37. And for question D, we make the equation equal zero. So 5a squared minus 10x plus one is equal to zero. So a is equal to five, b is negative 10 and c is one. So x is equal to five plus or minus two root five over five which gives us approximate solutions of x is 0 0.106 and x is approximately 1.89. And finally for question E, we'll make the equation equal zero. So we have 3x squared minus 16x plus eight is equal to zero. So this gives us approximate solutions of x is 0.558 and x is approximately 4.77. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.